Hi there. In this lecture we see an absolutely fascinating game with multiple pawn sacrifices. This is Stockfish 8 against Alpha Zero in the 2018 match. We see E4, E5. We go into the two knights defense. So black plays knight F6. So you'll notice here that actually the G5 square is no longer influenced. So Bishop C5 for example keeps control of g5 but knight f6 the two knights defense makes knight g5 a very popular move here to target the f7 pawn there's a very interesting gambit that black plays d5 so i played this myself this is one of the best gambits to play against this d5 for knight a5 bishop b5 c6 so we're trying to get dynamic play with the back black pieces so this is well known to opening theory generally and now knight d5 hits g5. So here knight f3 is played. If knight e4, we could indulge f5. And here g6, this isn't a bad looking position. Okay, we're a pawn down, but we've got some compensation. It's quite a nice position to play overall. So knight f3 is chosen. So here bishop d6. My castles, knight f4. This has been seen in Grandmaster games. This is a very interesting continuation. So knight takes d3, shatters white's pawns, and black offers a second pawn. So it's a super dynamic variation. If f6 here, there's d4, and this is quite powerful for white after d takes, f takes d3. White has a, a nice position here. So this basically is practically forced to play it like this not to play f6 so let white take on e5 and the point is to clamp down on d4 square so we've got the bishop pair and we've got control of d4 so overall it's a very interesting situation here for black we have knight c3 bishop b7 b3 rook e8 the knight goes to c4 knight takes c4 pair of rooks comes off and now b takes c4 Queen e6. Now black has direct opportunities to probe white's king. There isn't a defensive piece around the king. We see bishop b2, rook b8, knight b5, and now directly threatening mate with queen g6. So threatening queen takes g2 mate. We have queen f1, bishop f4, and here we have knight takes a7. It's getting actually rather dangerous for white, this third pawn to be taken. <laughs> yeah, this is getting really dangerous. If f3, let's see what could happen. h5, and say knight takes a7 here, this position, we're getting significant compensation. So it's only two pawns, that's only two pawns, one pawn there. And for example, we can have tactics like rook takes d4 for bishop e3 check. And we actually, we're slightly better there. Knight takes a7 is played. So three pawns up. White is three pawns up here. This is really dynamic stuff. But now is actually basically a losing mistake, believe it or not. This is a mystery position. Why is this losing, you think? <laughs> if knight b5, we have queen h5. This situation is rather dangerous as well with the same sort of resource as in the main line of the game which is this incredible resource here which shows some of the teeth of black's position bouncy roads of attack the rook potentially can use b6 to get over here we can play bishop f3 first and this is tricky for white let's say g3 rook b6 and taking rook g6 check bishop e2 and it gets super dangerous here we're threatening queen takes f4 so here for example this is checkmate rook g1 there's queen takes f2 check and we can end up taking here and check taking on h1 and bishop f3 and this will be a winning position for black so that is also kind of a losing move as well potentially a4 might actually be one of the best tries so this situation black can't really play rook g6 because of a 97 check so it has to be careful here and white ends up potentially with an advantage with careful play 
this position where it ends up it's crazy stuff where it ends up with a slight advantage overall okay so there are a number of pawns although why is it the exchange down there are a number of pawns for that if rook e1 bishop takes d2 this is just an even position overall okay so this situation we've got d3 to target potentially and yeah we want to avoid rookie eight check and queen takes d3 so this position is even so in the game let's look concretely why this is so bad now knight takes a7 so in the game bishop c3 was played instead of those other moves i just showed you so we have this direct threat queen h5 now h3 if g3 we have queen f3 and look at this this beautiful bishop supporting the queen so that will be big trouble for the white king so h3 we have now rook a8 gaining a valuable tempo to switch the rook over for a strong attack queen d1 is just giving up it's just giving up a piece basically so let's see knight b5 the key move is is bishop f3 so there's actually the threat here is actually rook a6 so g takes f3 let's say g takes f3 rook a6 king h1 rook g6 and what is white doing here so there's a big threat now of queen takes f3 mating essentially and if queen g2 we can take off the queen and we can actually show the queen is superior here to black's pieces taking out c4 and this situation we've got the a pawn under relative control so this should be ending up with black having a clear advantage so this situation is a clear advantage to black black really hasn't got enough for the queen and now black's got this past h pawn as well so anyway yeah it seems as though stockfish just gave up an entire piece now and this situation isn't good basically because these are double pawns here it's not that much compensation we have bishop c6 and now a4 another kind of giving up move so what's going on here if king f1 black can make progress here in a steady way bishop f3 would be a nice key move to restrict the king and then play for g5 later like here and white would have to give up more material so h5 would be the best move giving up more material it's on the way out for white because if h takes h takes we've secured a mating net around white's king for example like this forcing white to play rook takes f3 it's all over so a4 is another kind of giving up move that's taken and now after king f1 bishop b3 it's basically a bishop up here and let's see just the game continues a little bit longer but basically black is a whole bishop up it's absolutely a winning position black's going to make use of a zugzwang here so this is starting to be very painful so this is also a desperate looking move d4 but otherwise black's going to set up a situation for example where the pawn can't even move and the yeah there's all sorts of ways of winning that so this is this looks like an absolutely giving up situation carries on a bit and here now with pressure on d3 and this is the end of the game at move 48 if king d2 bishop b4 check we can play king b7 and we're going to end up in a situation where white is in a kind of zugzwang here in fact this bishop is nearly kind of trapped it hasn't got any moves here so white has to give up more material if the king moves we're going to take out d3 so if c5 we just take out c5 we're absolutely winning here piece up for not much at all so this was the end of the game bishop f5 so this is a really interesting multi-pawn sacrifice game but the gambit has been seen before the initial gambit is very very popular well known uh, but this other kind of this this also has been seen in grandmaster games as well this situation is very very dynamic so okay knight takes e5 c c5 so alpha zero playing this really in the spirit of the relation with the bishop pair and these opportunities of switching a rook sometimes to the king's side really interesting opportunities for switching a rook 
So we see that here. Yeah, this is this third rank is clear of any pawns. So these kind of possibilities are super interesting. So yes, rook b8 encouraging this situation. And now yes, bishop c3 is actually a losing mistake here. Believe it or not, it's absolutely a losing mistake because of this initial forcing move. And then rook a8 giving the idea that actually hold on tempo gainer yeah but first you know the cute if if white had played let's recap that if white had played knight b5 the cute bishop f3 is a real crusher in this position absolute crusher so the attack is really progressing here very very strongly so yes, G takes rook a6. Beautiful stuff. I hope you enjoyed this as much as me. The variations are really interesting there. But yeah, white just gave up a piece with queen d1. Fun stuff. Okay, and so much.